My name is Aaron James Nadia Ruiz. I am a junior, class of 2022. I'm an interdisciplinary artist. I primarily do a lot of painting, collage work, uh, recently been doing a lot more printmaking, um, illustrations, and aspiring to do some more sculpture in the future. Um, and I like to involve my work in a lot of topics regarding human psychology, human psyche. I like to think of my work as a form of expression for those who aren't able to. Um, as I said, my work uh, travels around the ideas of human psyche and um, interpersonal experiences using the, I guess, the um, accessing and extending the limitations of material and medium to actually showcase those boundaries and those limitations. When I think of visibility, I like to um, think about how my own mental disabilities can affect my work. So with ADHD, you know, um, obviously it is a hyperactive disorder um, with attention and it is a behavioral disability. Um, personally with me, it affects the way I work, it affects my comprehension within classes, within understanding certain basic basic instructions. It was something that I had trouble accepting as being a part of me rather than something like controlling me. Um, but after time and after growing up, I, I was able to really hone in the fact that it's okay and I, I deal with it and um, <clears throat> I use it to the best of my ability. So when I was interpreting this concept of visibility, I always think about how my work can act as um, a living, a living embodiment of an emotion or expression or experience. Yes, absolutely. And that pretty much goes into the first question. It's something that kind of activates on the surface level sometimes. Like for one of the pieces, um, my that, that representational portrait that is essentially an image of myself, um, I think about, because um, I did that in the mirror, but then I kept on going on and off throughout the mirror, um, but then I tried to make it something that felt lifelike, but also something that doesn't exist. Disability is a really interesting concept to tackle within work because it's something that is so personal and so individual and the fact that you are able to possibly and definitely do it justice in a piece of work is extraordinary to me and that's why i really love the idea of having my work possibly be um, a form of help in a form of aid for people in the future that can look at something and say, I relate to that, and I respond to that heavily, and I want to know this artist, I want to know their work, um, because it's given me a chance to express myself in a way that I haven't been able to. My process and a lot of my work are very spontaneous, very hyperactive, much like, you know, ADHD. People who, you know, people who have ADHD are diagnosed um, with ADHD, they understand that it's uh, sometimes it's not fun. Sometimes it's it can be distracting and definitely stressful when there's a million things going through your mind more than the average person, and you can't necessarily shut it off because it's just a part of it's part of how you think. Um, and you know. For a lot of people, it's it's either taking medicine or going to some sort of session with someone to talk about how you can control it, which I've done, and it's a you know it's a process that you learn with, and it's a process that I've been doing with for a while. So disability definitely my disability, of course, has definitely um, has definitely taken account into my work and definitely my process. I've learned that it's easier to let it um, 
free flow rather than hyper focus into it. Um, for me personally, I I tend to whenever I'm working on a piece that's about me, I don't try to let it be hyper focused into the fact that it's a piece about me, but rather a piece about an idea that could be relatable to someone else. With the work that's shown in the visibility show right now, um, I feel very proud of those works and I feel like those works definitely put me in the spot where I needed to allow myself to be vulnerable and to be not shy of expressing how I'm feeling about certain subjects or about myself, certain experiences, and make my own context so that other people can make their own. Absolutely. I feel, I, I, I constantly say this, that I feel like over time a lot of people have started to reject the idea of talking about themselves because they think that they're being narcissistic or they have a big ego, um, especially when it comes to disability. Um, I feel like when you have a disability, you have the implication and the stigma that you should keep it quiet, you should not talk about it, but rather, I guess, like exploit yourself or disclose it for the sake of other people. But it's something that is a part of you and something that I have personally grown to own up to it and to accept while others, you know, it's very hard and I understand that. Um, for a while that was me and it was hard to um, own up to the fact that I had this behavioral issue that needed me to take medicine, needed me to go to training and needed me to understand that, yeah, I might respond differently to different tasks and directions based on the fact that I just behaved a little bit differently um, and I would communicate and, and respond differently to different things. Um, and at this point in my life, I do feel very comfortable talking about it. Um, it's become a part of who I am and a part of what my work is as an artist. Um, and me as an artist in general. Um, it's something that I'm proud of and it's something that I own up to a lot. And I want to be able to have my work to be able to be a way, like a catalyst, like a seed to say, hey, it's okay. It's okay to not want to talk about it and it's okay to talk about it. And if you want to talk about it, we should talk about it. I have a younger sister with autism and many other disabilities, many other physical and behavioral disabilities. And um, shout out to Kristen, if she ever sees this. But um, it's something that I pride myself that I can talk about it um, comfortably and proudly um, because it shouldn't limit us, no matter what disability it is. I wish that people would realize that disability isn't really a disability. I think people have a stigma that people with disabilities are incapable of doing certain tasks and being intelligent and being front forward with their opinions and being able to express themselves. Um, that is not true. Personally with me, you know, I might not be able to understand a direction right away and I need you to like explain it to me like 25 times or even 100 times. Um, but once it clicks in my head, I know what I'm doing. The misconception that, you know, people with disabilities are incapable of doing good things and great things and intelligent things um, is crazy. Thank you, Bear Gallery. Thank you, Saya and Lexi for... Um, allowing me to talk and allowing me to answer some questions that you guys had and <clears throat> um, go see the show if you haven't seen it yet. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I got and I'll see you guys another day. Peace.